Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. I don't see many uh, videos or anything dealing with the Johnson Viking 1 transmitter, vintage transmitter. So I thought I'd uh, let you have a peek at this so you can get some close-up shots here and see what it's all about if you want to check it out. This is going to be a short video. Um, I need to go through the transmitter and maybe replace some old capacitors and check some components before I power it up. And that's not a high priority right now. I've had it around a while. It'll be a someday project. But for now, we'll just show you what this transmitter looks like. Let's take a look. As with vintage tube gear, there's high voltages present, so be aware of that. Now, this uh, transmitter was available between 1949 and 1952 in kit form or pre-built. It could operate 160 through 10 meters, plate modulated AM or CW. It was shipped from the main factory in Wasika, Minnesota. I used to work there in the 1980s, but that was long after this unit was produced, of course. As you can see, it's very clean. Could use just a little touch-up on the panel, on the front panel. Put the inside, wait until you see that. Very nice. And the rear panel, your normal jacks, antenna, ground power, and accessory. I'm having uh, trouble reading the serial number. I'll have to get a good magnifying lens out, see if I can make that out. And it operates off of standard 120 volt power. So let's have a look on the inside. As you can see, it's very clean. It has the normal tuning and coupling controls on the front panel. And the output, final output uh, tube is a 4D32. And it's modulated by a pair of 807s. And keep in mind, this is just a transmitter, not a receiver. Uh, back in the day, that's the way things were done for the most part, a separate transmitter and a separate receiver. So everything looks uh, to be in really nice shape in this transmitter. Off to the left there you can see the RF output tube. And here we have uh, the crystal socket. I don't have any uh, crystals installed right now, but that's where you'd install the crystals for transmitting. It sure is heavy. I don't know what it weighs. I didn't put it on the scale. Let's have a look underneath. There's a few capacitors that I'd like to replace before I power it up. And it looks like somebody else has already replaced a few capacitors in this transmitter over time. But I mainly wanted to get this video out there, get some close-up shots. There's not much on this transmitter out there in video that I see. Here's a oil fill cap. I think that'll be okay. So as always, thanks for watching and have a great new year coming up here. And here's a vintage microphone that had been used with this radio for some time. If you enjoyed this little peek at the Viking 1 transmitter, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And 7-3, happy 2018. I don't see many videos out there about the Jatson Viking 1 transmitter. So I thought I'd give you some close-up. Take two.